In celebration of the Town of Versailles Bicentennial, Main Street Versailles proudly presents Our Town's History. It is such an exciting time as we celebrate the Versailles Bicentennial. I'd like to think of Versailles as having many treasures, and one of those being the Leora Weir American Legion Post 173. The Versailles Post is also home for three impressive basketball trophies. After World War II, the American Legion decided to start a basketball program as a way to entice new members. Recently, I did have the privilege to interview Mr. Jim Lemon, who was a member of the 1947 Indiana Legion State Championship team and would also be the national runners-up. Mr. Lemon, now 92 years old, had served in the Army Infantry. Shortly after coming home, he was approached by his mail carrier, Judy Bronberg, about joining the Versailles Post as they were forming a basketball team. Mr. Lemon joined the Leora Weir Post and became a member of the basketball team in which he played approximately five years. Most of the team consisted of World War II veterans and they won the state four out of five years. The team was coached by William Bill Hill. Members of the impressive 1947 team along with Mr. Lemon were Norman Dresselhaus, Russell Martin, Raymond Shaddy, Leslie Kelch, Jess Westmeyer Sr., Ray Chandler, Kenneth Shaw, Alfred Atkins, Ray Strimple, and brothers Allen and Bob Smith. The manager for the team was James Hall. They played their home games in the Versailles Community Building, which no longer exists. Mr. Lemon did state in the five years he played at the Community Building, they did not lose a game. Mr. Lemon played the position of guard and did receive several All-American trophies. While he was very humble and didn't want to brag with a huge smile on his face, he said, I am somewhat talented. Mr. Lemon couldn't come up with a specific favorite memory, but he did say every game they won was a special memory. The Versailles team even beat one of the traveling Harlem Globetrotters team. At one point, he paused and said, all of my teammates were good friends of mine. The state tourney in 1947 was held at the National Guard Armory in Muncie. It was noted that the games would be eight-minute quarters. The championship game would be the Versailles Post 173 playing Glen Park Post 214 from Gary. The Versailles team won 37-32. to Kenneth Shaw played center for Versailles and received the sportsmanship trophy. The first annual National American Legion Championship game was held in Brazil, Indiana, near Terre Haute, with 13 teams total participating. A paragraph from the National Legionnaire in April of 1947 stated, The Midland Michigan team, sponsored by the Berry Hill Post, emerged winner of the first Invitational American Legion Basketball Tournament. The Wolverines defeated the Versailles team by a score of 45-42. to the lead did change several times, and at halftime, Versailles was up 22 to 20. Talk about Hoosier hysteria. Another great chapter of Hoosier basketball at its best. The days of the legendary basketball team has passed, but the Versailles post continues to be a vital part of what makes Versailles special. My biggest memory is just being able to go watch them play, being lucky enough to, of course I was only 12 or 13, but uh, watching, I thought the old men were up and run up and down the court, which uh, they were just 20 in their 20s and in their prime coming home from the service. They were fast, good, and I just enjoyed watching them. It was you do on Sunday afternoon. They meet weekly, and activities throughout the year consist of and not limited to a car show at the annual Versailles Lions Club Chicken Barbecue. They participate in the Pumpkin Show Parade and sponsor a Halloween parade with treats. Recently, they have started sponsoring a junior shooting program, participating in competitions. Christmas time, they help in a big way to provide for the less fortunate. Once a year, they host a law and order banquet sponsoring and honoring the fire department, local police officers, and EMTs. But if you were to ask a Legion member what means the most to them, it would be participating in the Veterans Day service at South Ripley High School and the Memorial Day parade and service at Cliff Hill Cemetery. But I think what is most touching and meaningful 
is the way they say goodbye to one of their own by providing a very humble and somber military service. Along with the Legion Post, there is an active women's auxiliary and a Sons of the Legion. I think the biggest part is doing the funerals. And it, it, it's quite an honor to go around and do all the funerals. It, I'm getting too old just about to do it, but uh, I still enjoy it. And uh, the, the people you have down here that you get to meet every day sitting at home, I, it's nice to get out. I'm like Frank. I, uh, the Legion Funerals is one of our main things, and I think we do it as well as any posts around here. I'm, uh, I've been around this be my 53rd year I belong to the Legion, so I've been around here a couple of times. And, uh, it, it's really a, a great thing that we do to our, our comrades that we do the proper graveyard thing. And, and we got a lot of great guys and, and ladies. We got, well, we got a commander this year, a, a girl, and we've had, we got several women involved. It's just not a men's thing anymore. The national commander this year is a woman, first one ever, and that's big, big, big for the whole nation. Yeah, and uh, this is, uh, this coming year is the 100th year of the American Legion. It'll be the 100th, 100th year, 1919. But uh, what we do here, uh, like Frank says, is uh, just we help the community whenever they, they, they need us, and the, the town supports us, and that's a big plus because a lot of legions I'm familiar with, they don't have that bond with the t with the local towns and the communities that we do here. and uh, Especially at Christmas when we do the baskets, it was always a big deal. <clears throat> and everybody got together and it'd be about 60 of us, wives and kids and everything putting the baskets together. That was a big deal to me. And I've been lucky enough that uh, these young guys are hauling me around and all the rifle shoots and watch the young kids shoot their rifles. This video was made possible by the Versailles American Legion Post number 173. Thank you for your support.